A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst Mods. I have been super super busy just now. As you guys can see it's already Sunday February 4th in game. Uh, one of my members pointed this out and I also figured it out as well. Um, it is day 35. How do I know that? Since it follows calendar days, uh, January has 31 days. It's already February 4th, so 31 plus 4, that's 35. So in 21 in-game hours, we will be facing the day 35 horde, and I don't know if you're prepared or not. I actually did a lot. Uh, let me just, I need to take that away as well. Over here where we had that oil thingy in the square, uh, I think it's there or there or somewhere. I went back and I grabbed all of the oil shale that was there, and I was, I'm actually making a ton of fuel, as you guys can see. There's still 2,000 left to go over there. Um, I first decided, you know what, since there was that one square with all the oil, I just can't remember exactly which PR it was. I should have waited before I removed the marker. I think it's there. Remember, right in the middle of the square, there was, uh, oil shale. Basically went back, I uh, almost broke my pick doing so, but I also, I think I went halfway. The rest was from doing work over here, which I'll show you guys now. Just make sure I haven't gotten anything else over here. Five minutes. Yep, that's enough. I want to make T8 storages when we are so, so, so close. Uh, basically, I have reworked the Horde defense a bit. Um, since we have done a lot of building of, of the Horde base on camera, I was like, you know what? Let me just do most of it off, and then we can work on the actual base over here during the now. And then in the morning, we can go do a quest or two. See, that's the old one over there. Can I fall without breaking my leg? Let's not take a chance right now. So far, it's been pretty quiet, which really bothers me. I had a, a whisperer and that's about it. And then over here, I'm going to go and do this. Basically, it's a little bit too far to this side. So I moved it back one block and now we can destroy this one. And I also cleaned up all of the debris and stuff that was over here. I also went and removed this section over here. As you guys remember, it was went like this and then split in two. Because I wanted to do a walkway on that side as well. But instead of that, I broke it off there, broke it off there, and let this whole thing cave in. That's why my pick is also even more damage in the halfway. Was I had to clear up all the debris from that. And then I decided, you know what? Oh, I hate those screams. And then I decided, you know what? Let me just extend that. So we're going to go all the way to there. And it goes into like a triangle block, a ramp block. So I went from the ramp block all the way from the top to the, to the bottom of here. The reason for that being is if I were to go and put a pillar here and a pillar there, there will actually literally be like a pole catching someone. Because the pillar will be there, there, and there, so someone will be actually able to walk into the back of this. Instead, they just use the ramp blocks going from the bottom all the way to the top. I'm um, also making them see through, so if something's stuck in the back, we can shoot through it. And then we have these pillars over here just supporting slightly. And because this is touching the floor, I was able to support the rest of the walkway over there, 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 and here. So the zombies shouldn't be too heavy during Horde Night, hopefully. Um, I have done some of the repairs over here and accidentally wasted some uh, as well. My own ladders and stuff here require cobble to repair. Let me just see what's been heavily damaged. Yeah, ah, uh, damn, I need more mortar. It's a hard, hard, hard process. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, now I just wasted my bricks. The bricks you use for this wall over here because it's part of the trader. This is actually technically brick. Wait, why does it now need, just need mortar? Uh, but yeah, this is technically brick. This over here is cobble that I'm building. So my blocks require mortar. These ones over here require the brick. But now it also requires mortar all of a sudden. Anyways, yeah, uh, I went and repaired over here. Let's just also go and make sure the, st uh, the ladders are in. That goes all the way to, to the top. Make sure any gaps over here have been filled. I technically want to remove... When I, when I have an auger or something, or better tools... I wouldn't remove these stairs over here and move them back a little bit. So I can actually go and make the ladder not go across the, the stairs themselves. Just like this block over here, you see how it's on a flat surface on top? I want to have both these over here. So this whole walkway needs to be moved out too, and then the stairs need to be added. So when zombies walk up over here, now at the moment they walk up, they get kind of stuck over here because they can't get onto the, uh, the stairs over here. But on this side, it's so much easier getting to the top. Oh yeah, I also need to do something. I wonder if I should put a ladder on this side. So if a zombie gets stuck, I mean, I could just easily do the staircase again. Let me just do this. Do this. I could easily just do the same staircase I did this side. On this side, don't fall. Oh, that was close. 
Uh, but the only problem is I don't want to spread out too uh, spread out too much. Over here, when the zombie falls over, I want to incentivize them falling back down and going over there. But at the moment, they kind of get stuck over here and do damage to these blocks. So I'll have to expand it slightly at least. So I'm going to go copy shape, copy rotation. If they fall down over here, well, look, now they shouldn't fall down as often. Because I basically stopped them from being able to do so. But if they were to fall down, I'm going to give them this out. Let me just take this out quickly. So now if they do fall down here, they'll easily be able to get back up again and climb. This was actually perfect because since that block wasn't there, they come up so fast that they actually run over and fall down. But now, I, since I have the ladder here, it's going to climb better. I just wanted to make sure they don't stand over here and smack this block carrying all the weight. Uh, later, I want to add a wall over here to justify this hanging because I don't like the fact that it's hanging. Uh, what I could do is make the block underneath a full block or a half block going this way. So basically what I mean by that is it's going to look like this. Uh, half block. Advanced rotation. Like so. So I'm going to replace the block underneath with a block like this. So I can make a full block at the back that holds this up. So it looks like it's actually being carried by the weight. This there is floating like this. I feel it's cheesy. But the block itself, I mean, as long as it's connected to something and it's not hanging in the air, I feel it's legit enough. Okay, so it's already daytime. I actually wanted to do a little bit more work at night. But it's... Oh, time flew too fast. Uh, we'll do this. I need to make a floor at the back of here. We still have to work on our base. What if I shouldn't do the bottom first? Um, if I do this at least for some support. I need to also expand this so the vultures can't see me. But at the moment, we do need to also fill in this section. Because I keep falling over here. And I just sprained my bloody leg. Damn it. This is not the time to be spraining legs. Especially since the episode just started. Basically, I want to go and add all of this back in over here. We still have a few workstations that we have not crafted yet. So we need all the space we can just to be able to do it. Apparently the blacksmith's forge is an example of something that's really, really, really big. So yeah, we need the space for this quickly. Let's just do this. Also, apparently the socket over here is the ratchet, which you can get at uh, scavenging, not scavenging 60. I think it's scavenging 60 or salvage. I'm thinking it's salvage 60. I wonder if it shows over here somewhere. But basically, uh, the ratchet you put in there, and then you can make yourself more vehicles and stuff. But at the moment, this motor uh, bike that we have, this uh, dirt bike, is awesome. Okay, also over here, we have this now in, because I had it on my dirt bike. Look how much iron we got just from smelting a few things in there. It's insane. And now we can make 600 more. It takes 10 minutes, so it takes a while. But instead of having to go and um, mine the iron and all that stuff, which takes a long, long, long time, just do this. Just put stuff in there, and voila. I do want... I don't think these can break. I want to put these away. Uh, that we can combine. That we're going to use. This I can combine with this one. Crowbar. We do have this one which is barely breaking. So we'll go and do these. I want to keep these just in case we need them for some kind of recipe. And then these mods. I think the mods can also go into the station itself. See, I just want to make space. And some of these things you just can't scrap. But if we do this, we can make enough space for them. I'll keep two of those, keep two of these, two of those. Gun parts that I know I'll never use, I can put in there as well. But for now, we just needed a little bit of space. So make sure we don't accidentally put our own weapons in. That would suck. I don't think the crowbars can actually go in there. Look at this. It's not smelting. It's showing that it's smelting, but it's not smelting. It's not giving a timer. It has to actually give you, yeah, there you go, a timer for it. Otherwise, it's not working. Uh, can we put this one in there? Yes. Okay. So basically anything we're going to smelt, I'll just put in over here for now. Ooh. Oh yeah, these are things we want to go and sell. That I need to smelt into the forge, it seems. Can we? Oh, this leg of mine. Nope. We can't even smelt it in there. It's not showing a timer. So these we're just going to have to drop or we're just going to have to combine with ours as like a way to repair our stuff. I want to make space, basically. At the moment, we are running out of space over here. The more things we can put into the forges and the stations and stuff, the more we can actually get out of it. I need to make sure we can actually make more stuff as well. Coal and nitrate. We can actually make some gunpowder. Because I want to make sure that we can perhaps even make some more explosives for Fortnite. So that goes over here. Thank you. Now we can make a ton of Molotovs as well. That's the big reason I made it for the Molotovs. Just put one of these in there. It's a little bit of a waste. Gunpowder, 150... Yeah, why not? I need to put something else in there. I'm not going to put another frame in. 
I see people using frames in the fires and it just hurts because I know how expensive it is to make. But I mean, if you have the resources for it, why not? Go ahead, do it. Me personally, I don't have enough resources. So I just prefer using stuff that we can actually get easy, um, easily. Okay, so that's done. This over here, T8. We are still seven books short and then we can finally, finally, finally get that, uh, that workstation. Guys, if we can make T8 storages over here, I'm actually also thinking of moving my storages over. So away from the horde base. Technically, it needs to be on that window over there. And then we'll just move the kitchen into one of the blocks. Or technically as well, I want to go and break these to make a nice open platform over here. And so, so we can actually put our workstations in easier too. Okay, so I'm going to put the iron in here for now. Um, Technically, yeah, we also need clay. I was about to say, technically, we also need to do the blacksmith station. Blacksmith, where is it? This one over here. 100 cobble, which we don't have at the moment. Cobble, pipes, leather, advanced bellows, bucket. Do we have the leather? No. Okay, so we have... Oh, wait, we can make leather. We can easily make leather. I don't think you need the hides for anything, right? Recipes? Standing rack. Yeah, we don't. Uh, well, the, the pallet of hides we might need to do later. But for now, I'm just going to turn all of this into leather. We need the leather more than anything else. Nice, my leg just healed. Okay, and then also I want to go and grab the fuel. I want to put one stack in there. Or two stacks. That's just going to be for a vehicle. I've already filled up the dirt bike. So that's our reserve fuel. And then over here we're going to make some Molotovs. So, Molotov. We need oil and cloth. Oh, that's a lot of cloth actually. And then oil. During Horde Night, I want to burn them, baby. Burn. <laughs> okay, whoa, that's expensive. Only 20 used up all that fuel. Thousands and thousands of gas just down the drain. Damn. Okay, so yeah, the forges are cooking in. This is over here. I need even more space. This is the first thing that's going to get a T8 storage, it seems. Okay, now I just want to put away a few things. And then we're going to go and do that quest for the trader. We do have 19 blocks left. So let's quickly place these, actually. And then that goes over there. The nail gun we can put away. I need to make more mortar as well for repairs to the other side. But I don't think it's going to be necessary at the moment. We'll put the resources in there for now. We'll use this and we'll sell this. Okay, these seem to have been smelted in. Recycle. Nice. That's even more over there. I'll just put these over here. And then fuel. We'll keep a little bit of fuel on us in case we need to go and fill up the vehicle again. What I want to do with this little bit of that we have right now is either do the roof or do the windows. I think the roof is more important. Basically, I want to make sure that vultures can't really get us, uh, get us really easily. So what I'll do instead is we'll make another piece of floor over there. What was that? Why didn't I want to... Oh, the ladder is there. I was about to say, why doesn't want to place that just now? Damn. Copy shape, copy rotation. This is the best place over here for fighting bosses. So I'm going to keep this little corner section. But because of this little corner section, that's why I want to move my storages. If the vomit hits the, the walls over here, we might get a problem where it goes, the fire goes through the wall and burns my stuff. Okay, and then this we want to put down. I need to destroy this now. And I also need to repair my pick. Damn it. That was really a waste. Okay, so I'm just going to destroy this. I'm going to put my sledge down too. How far away can the sledge be before it actually breaks? Before it uh, doesn't allow me. We can do this. So when a zombie does get over, it's going to knock them. But can it be that far away from me? I keep falling. I need to be really, really careful not to break my legs right now. Yeah, I need to remove that, actually. Now I have a problem because I need to get up there to check something. It's not active, not active, not active, active. Okay, we'll have to move it closer. So when a zombie does make it over over here... Or when it makes it over on the last section over here. As close to us as possible. Most zombies will fall there, but if they do get past, at least the sledge will help protect us. So I'm just quickly going to remove this. I'm going to also repair it with one that we have in the uh, the station. And we're going to go for this tier 3 fetch and clear. So this over here, if I were to go and use my crowbar, you pick it up. If you use the pick, you just get iron. And if you get the uh, use the actual wrench over here, uh, you have a chance of getting the propane tank. Oh, it's going to be this POI. Okay. Um, I need to use this more. Because I need to up my skill. And then we have to make sure we pick up the arrows again. 
Lady, are you coming? Nice. Okay, so on the way back, we'll get all the resources over here. There's more cobble and more clay and stuff. But now, uh, I should probably loot as I go as well. But you want to make sure you're not too encumbered when you're clearing a place. Nice, another crowbar. See, already we have so much stuff on us. So instead of grabbing everything, let's just first clear the place. The amount of enemies in here sometimes can be... Uh, yeah, it's no joke. Okay, we can go over there. We can go over here. You jump through the window. You jump over here. People have been saying I need to try using wooden spikes. And I'll actually try that. But I need to see how expensive it's going to be first. Okay, since we're not going to be getting into the roof again, I'll just grab these. See, yeah, it's more cobble. We just need cobble to make a little bit more mortar before the horde. And then we might be able to fix the slight extra damage that's been done over there by the base. I'd be so careful when I jump into that final room right now. In these rooms over here, you can actually see there's zombies inside over there. Feral zombie as well. So if I can fall down over here, that's fine. But I need to be so careful not to wake everything up. Ooh, I almost fell down. Okay. See, if I can do that with all of them, we won't have a problem. But uh, uh, he's a little bit more tanky, at least, to be fair. Okay, we're going to keep the lights off. There's another dot in there. But the problem is we need to see what's inside. Oh, okay, it's sleeping here by the door. That's why we can't see it. It's fine. You can break that door down for me. Since most of them are feral, this is going to be a difficult place to clear. Let's turn that off. It's just a fetch. Oh, no, it's a fetch and clear. I was about to say it's just a fetch so we don't have to worry, but we have to worry. Damn. Damn. I have to clear this place before night time. I'm hoping we get all the last books for the workstations. If I can make T8 storages of here. Seven workstation books. So I'm hoping there's way more of these things of here. Oh, the kitchen's going to be bad. There's usually a ton of ferals in there. So yeah, this is going to get really dangerous really quick. The last room is the most dangerous. And then where we're going right now is going to be a little bit dangerous. As long as I'm not encumbered, I'm going to try and loot as we go as well. So we don't have to go through the whole place again just to lose a few things. I should probably also wrench these beds. Now, if I have time, I'll do that. You have to wrench the bed over here because you want to make sure you get... Let me just do this. Uh, you want to make sure you get springs and stuff to make yourself some explosives. We don't have any explosives for Hortonite at the moment, which might just cost us a little bit. Okay. I made, my way, uh, I made myself a way to fall back over here. So if we stand like this, we should be able to get to a safe spot. We jump, 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 pick up the frames. Because this over here, like I said, there's a ton of feral whites usually over here. This is terrifying. If we can kill them without them waking up, awesome. Nice. I'm getting slightly better at this. As we go, I'm just going to also make sure we do this in between. I'm also picking up any uh, plants like this because you can't pick them up in this mode. You have to destroy them. Okay, not going to lie. This is terrifying. I'm going down slowly as I can, but if any feral sees me... There's a zombie around the corner as well. There shouldn't be one over here, but there's definitely one around the corner over there. Be very, very quiet. Okay, if we can pick this up without them waking up. Damn it. You are a feral Tom. Okay, so we just do this. We do this, and we shoot them in the head. Okay. 
We definitely need all of these pallets over here. Oops. We need to try and get into the safe over here. We need to get these pallets over here because that's going to give us some resources. There's a lot of cobble in this place as well. Okay, and then there's going to be a feral zombie on the other side of this now. The moment we get to that side over there, there's a zombie going to be awake. So I want to see if I can't place a frame from this side. Oh, we can snipe him from here. Yes. Okay, this might actually work. It's a shame that I didn't bring my Molotovs with, because we really need Molotovs right now. Unfortunately, as you can see, we don't really have a lot of space over here. I'm tempted to go and drop stuff. We don't need this anymore. I'm tempted to go and drop stuff in the vehicle. Um, yeah, because we need a lot of space. I want to get all these resources before nighttime. Fetch is right here. If I had some Molotovs, we can burn all the zombies in the final area, but now it's going to be a very dangerous, we have to kill them scenario. The 20 Molotovs were done as well, so I should have just grabbed them when I was there. Only two areas left. Is this final area where all the zombies are? And then where the exit is, that's where the final zombies are going to be. You see there's a zombie sitting over there. What if I can wake him up? Okay, there's zombies there and there's zombies there. They all seem to be upstairs though, so if I can hug the wall and get up there and just snipe them from a uh, from an angle, this should do the trick. What is that? Lumberjack. Okay. It seems the lumberjacks are very rarely feral. The other two are upstairs, and then we have to get this over here. I thought one of the areas is definitely gonna be where the exit is. That's usually where they are as well. Yeah, there's a lot of dots left. I need to be so careful. That dude was feral, but I was able to snipe him. I'll do this just in case I accidentally fall down. Let me close this. There's no gate over here. Yeah, there's a zombie in the exit over there. This dude over here is feral as well. Oh, we can rip that off. You just do the... Oh, yeah. Uh, when it's on a container, it rips off like in two seconds. But on it's just a normal board like this, it barely rips off at all. Technically, I should be able to stealth this before he wakes up. Because I'm not visible at all. I'm making sure to get my bow and arrow skill as high as possible. That's from outside, that noise. Yeah, that red dot's standing still, so it's definitely not from here. Yeah. Where is it? In the hallway. I can easily fall down over here. There's still two dots left. I, I don't know, the dots might be in the walkway over there, or they might be on top over there. Okay, so there's only two dots left. Let's check. If they're upstairs, we can actually easily kill them. But if this starts caving in, they might make enough noise. That's from upstairs. That's not from this place. There's a hidden box right behind over there. I want to do this. I want to rip that off. See, these boards that we rip off like this is five minutes worth of fuel. That's a lot. So if you can rip these off and keep all of them, it's free fuel right there. There's definitely a zombie up here. One or two. Okay. Now we do this. Can't pick that up because it's damaged. This is the last zombie as well. There you go. Okay. So now we hold this in our hands. We go like in the corner. Two seconds, boom, loot the hidden stash. As soon as the zombies are done, all of a sudden it's so much easier getting through this place. But yeah, now we're slightly encumbered, unfortunately, so this is going to be a hard one to do. There should be no zombies close to us, even. Probably make sure I also pick up all the arrows that might be stuck in zombies. Yeah, we just need to open up all the containers of here, grab all the resources and get out of here, but now we're going to be encumbered. We do have stairways, though. 
Come on, give me something good. Ooh. Yeah, that we can take. This over here. We can eat all three of them for 45. That's going to fill us up nicely. It's actually, as the food runs out, that's going to fill up really, really nicely right now. This I'm going to grab until we don't have space anymore. And then hopefully with all the lockpicks we have, which is only seven, we can get into this final stash of here. Because sometimes a lockpick just sucks. Okay, so just broke three lockpicks. Just three. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I keep forgetting that we have the Lucky Looter goggles as well, so I really need to try and use them too. Yes, now we just need six more books. Six more and we'll finally be able to make ourselves that um, T8 storage. T8 storage, guys. Do you know how many spaces we're going to have? I can already make... We are using tier 5. I can easily make more tier 6s or 7s, but we're so close to T8s and it's going to be cheap enough to make that I'm like, you know what? We, we can hold on just a little bit. Okay, we got all the resources over here. Unfortunately, this thing, the lockpicks broke, and it's taking way too long to break into there, so it's not worth it. If we hold on a little bit longer right now, it might be Horde Night before we can do anything else. Let's just leave that stuff in there. We've grabbed all of this. All the bags and stuff you see still lying around, uh, oops, uh, is just from, like, the stuff that we don't need. Like, uh, moldy bread or whatever that we can't hold at the moment. That's what that is. Um, damn it, I want that so badly. This we can actually smell down. I'm going to throw this so No, we'll throw this away. The nails, even though we can make our, nail, our own nails, it's actually nice being able to just get some free ones like that. Okay, and then we crouch through here. Don't know how I made that jump, but I made it. And we just have to run back to the trader quickly and hand in this. I think we first gonna have to put our stuff in the dirt bike because we're way too encumbered right now. I think it was a wandering water here because there was so much noise over here just now. Stuff that I know I'm not going to sell, we'll just put in there for now. We've got another uh, the, another spear as well just now, so that's awesome. When our current one breaks, it was get close to breaking, we use a new one. And then later, when the one needs repairs, we repair the one and then combine the two. I should really fix this over here a little bit. I also want to take all the debris out, so when I really need to, I don't get stuck over here. There's definitely something still out there somewhere. Now, I have a feeling they can get up a VO. Unfortunately, we can't place blocks back in. So I can't even put doors to help out the trade over here. Okay, so we can take double rewards, I think. We'll take this. The pistol I'm tempted to take, but I can already make. Let me just first see this. Pistol. What level can I make? Yeah, we can make our own. So for now, I'm just going to go and take this one over here. And we'll take the steel over here. After a while, I, I, when I really need steel, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so glad that I took that. Big C farm. Ooh, isn't this the one with all the zombie bears? Fine go apartments, fiery farms. Let's do a clear one. I know that the big C farm, that's one with like a lot of um, zombie bears and wolves and stuff. So it's a, it's a very dangerous BOI. It's just a shame you haven't reset yet. It only resets after, to, uh, after tonight. After Horde Night. I should probably see also if we can't go and make some explosives. It's almost Horde Night, so we should be able to make some. We'll just quickly sell this, this, this. Sell that. I'm still not used to that um, softened you, noise. I'm going to need the workstation. Okay, so we have to grab our stuff and go back to the base and just quickly make ourselves some explosives. It is now 4 o'clock. So next episode, we'll start with the Horde Night, and after that, we can go have some fun. I have to make sure we have all the guns and repair kits and stuff on us that we need for Fortnite. And I'm going to keep smelting stuff into that recycler to get more resources out. Did we level up? No. How far were you from leveling up? Oh, I want to see if there's any uh, XP elixirs over here. Because even though the trader takes long to reset, I think these things reset like daily. Okay, I see. We can put that in the other thing. Beer. I'll also get all the beers. I hear footsteps. That's why I'm being so paranoid right now. I don't want them all of a sudden just jumping up in my face again. Okay, we're just going to go to the base, drop everything off, and then prepare for the Horde night. Um, It's probably too early to say goodbye now. Let's just see what we can do at the base. Okay, it seems that only the lever action rifle of ES um, fires a 5.56 ammo, which kind of sucks. I was hoping, really, really hoping we can actually do that. I wonder if I shouldn't uh, use my shotgun a bit more during Horde night. Although, do we have one? A sword off. This is a something magnum bow, extremely powerful prototype crossbow that can hold 10 bolts. 
and fires them with extreme precision. Can handle most molds or mods, including drum magazines for added capacity. Damn! What do we need to be able to make this? Bow crafting. We can already make a level 537. If I can make this... Oh, we're going to need forged tungsten. 50 of it. Damn. I was just looking at all the weapons over here. I was like, ooh, nice. Even the knife. We can make... <laughs> look at the katana. Blades crafting. Although, yeah, we have to look at the resources. We have all these resources. I wonder instead of the spear... No, but the spear is nice and arranged. We can make the medieval spear. The shotgun I also want to make. Let's just see over here. Skill points. Action skills and shotgun. Shotgun, shotguns. Only... Uh, wait, it's on this side. 25. So I need to keep using the sword off or something to be able to up this to 2. So I can make the pump shotgun. That pump shotgun has 8 shots. That can save us a lot of time and effort. The auto shotgun I'm not really a big fan of, but the pump shotgun I really, really want right now. Automatics, we'll just keep using the pipe rifles, although we don't have enough ammo. We need to keep using the pipe rifles so we can up this to 40, so we can unlock over here the assault rifle. That's going to be better than the AK. Although, do we have... I think we might actually have an AK for night. Do we need to use this shotgun until it breaks? Yeah, we have a level uh, 312 machine gun. I just have to make sure it doesn't break. I keep using weapons and you just hear the breaking sound and it's heart-wrenching. It's a shame we don't have a compound crossbow yet because I really, really need that at the moment. Okay, so also we need to make sure we have advanced repair kits on us. That is somewhere over here. That's for the weapons, right? No, no, we need gun repair kits. So I'm going to do this. We have more range to it. Modify. I wonder, do I do this? Uh, increases accuracy in handling when aiming weapons, or do I do this for added range? I think let's do added range because I have to kill zombies uh, a little bit further away from us. Ammo. Damn, we only have seven. these two stacks of 762. I wonder if it's possible to take these apart and then... Because I, if the lever action rifle is the only thing I can use it, I don't think it is, but it seems it is. If it is the only thing I can use it, we have a big problem. We need to go mining more for more gunpowder as well. And then also... Oh, what are these doing in here? I was looking for them because I knew we had some more fuel somewhere. Okay, oh yeah, but yeah, that's uh, the only 7.62 we have, which means we'll be barely able to shoot at zombies during Horde Night. We have the pistol as well, but that's also about to break. And then we have the shotgun for up close range and personal. So if we see the Horde Knights too easy, we can run up to them and try and shoot them in the face. But this thing's going to break. We'll use it until it breaks just to get our shotgun skill up a little bit. And then I want to make myself some grenades. Contact the best one. Um, Gunpowder 30. No, we're not going to have enough. Unfortunately, we only have that. So we can make about six. Well, well let's make them. So just so we have them. Forged iron, we should... No, we don't have enough. Mechanical parts. That we have more than enough of. I could actually make more forged iron of you. I just realized. Those boards, where do I put them? If I go over here and I make some forged iron. Although, no, we don't have enough clay. That's unfortunate. We can make some forged iron, but yeah. Oh, let's make another Bunsen burner. I need to make another uh, chem station soon. That is unfortunate. Damn. I can only make two, but we, yeah, the clay is completely out right now. And then the bricks. I need to see if I can do a little bit more repairs to the wall itself. And then Horde Knight, we're going to face the zombies. Springs. And we have to make some contact grenades. Boom, just three. Just because of the forged iron being too low. I wonder if I shouldn't then go and use these with a gunpowder to make myself some ammo. I need more 7.62. Although it's only 36 rounds, but 36 rounds might actually really, really help us out. And then any cans and stuff that we find, we should actually use those inside this thing over here. Every time we have a chance. At a stage, you'll be able to get so much iron out of this. I'm just leaving the iron in there. Because it's a nice way to uh, have it there without having to worry about keeping it inside a box. If you have to put it inside a box over here, it's going to take up too much space. But yeah, I'm just going to call it episode here, guys. Next episode, we will start with the Horde Knight itself. Hopefully, we are as ready as ready can be. If you guys liked this episode, please like share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.